Hey there, Danny here. Welcome to my ramblings. Um, I'm going to give you a quick one today. I'm talking about Prop 312 in Arizona. It is a prop that says that homeowners can apply to get a refund on their, a small refund on their um, property taxes paid if um, they have homeless people or encampments or or any of that type of stuff near their home I'm sorry I have big issues with this so we want the police who are understaffed as it is to not only deal with the crime that's going on there stop all the speeding and now we want them to run around and 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 get rid of Homeless people, one. I, I, this goes way out there for me because I, I'm floored that we can be such heartless human beings. If you want a prop to change homelessness, how about one, you stop big corporations from buying up a bunch of properties and renting them out. Two, if you have small landlords, ones who own just a small amount of property or apartment complex or anything, if they keep their rents low at a reasonable price and don't follow the majority, then you give them some sort of tax break, some sort of incentive. Those two things alone would fix a lot of the problem. Here is the biggest thing. What kind of a heartless human being decides that the police need to go and punish somebody who's homeless? They don't have a roof over their head. They don't know where their next meal is coming from. They, they, they don't own anything but what they can carry. And, and somehow our society thinks that, that we should punish these people for being homeless? What kind of a sick fuck are you that would even come up with the fact that we need to punish somebody for not being able to afford a roof over their head? I'm sorry, I don't understand. I, I, I'm sorry, allergies are horrible today. I do not understand this train of thought. You're homeless. You don't have a roof over your head. You don't have, you don't have anything. You don't have bare ne human necessities in our society. But they should be punished because they don't. What sense does that make? Let's add to their problems because well we as homeowners or as business owners we shouldn't do anything to help how about all the billions millions of dollars that big companies fucking hand out to everything why aren't they setting up I, I'm sorry all of the grocery stores they donate money to all kinds of shit I know Walmart for a fact because I worked there for three fucking years I know that they give out money. Here is my take. Why isn't the Walmarts, especially the ones in the neighborhood where there are homeless people, why aren't they setting up things where these people can come and get food and water? Why aren't they using their funds instead of giving it to nonprofit organizations, why aren't they giving it to people who don't even have a fucking roof over their head? Instead, we're gonna punish them? You bad, bad, bad human being. You failed at life because it got too hard and too expensive and we didn't pay you enough to be able to provide a roof over your head without you having to work three fucking jobs and work all the time other than sleep. You don't deserve a life if you want a roof over your head. What's wrong with you? Do you hear how fucking ignorant and awful that sounds? We can't even provide our own fucking people in this country with the bare necessities. But we're going to punish them because they can't afford it. How does punishing them help that situation? Oh wait, it doesn't. It causes that situation to get fucking worse for them and drag them lower and lower down into the pit of despair. But somebody who lives in a house has all of their bills 
are able to be paid is going to put a proposition ballot 312 on fucking Arizona so people can vote because you deserve some of your money back because a homeless person was near your home. Um, if they're near your home, why don't you go out and give them food? Seriously. You can't make a couple of sandwiches and, and, and some water and take out to them. This is ridiculous. We're going to punish people who are homeless. So the homeowners can get some money back. What? Where does where, where do these people come up with these funky ideas? I understand that when it comes to homeless people that you can have added crime and everything else. I get that. But the truth is punishing them's not going to help the situation. If you were living on the streets, you wouldn't medicate yourself too. Hell, half of you come home from work and have cocktails, or a beer, or smoke weed, because you had a rough day. Now imagine you don't have a home to come to. What are you going to do? But you can't fucking see it, can you? Instead, you want to punish them? Wow. Wow. And we can't figure out why our society is so fucked up like it is. Are you kidding me? We are going to punish homeless people. And we're going to give money back to the homeowners for it. Anybody, anybody who attends church and believes in the Lord above, if you vote yes on this prop, or you supported this prop to be put on the ballot, you, you did anything to help with this prop, you are not following what God has asked you. The Lord has asked you to be his servant, to take care of people who have less than you do. What the hell is wrong with you? Instead, you want to punish these people and you want to be rewarded with some money back. That's sick. And if you attend church, no. Know this, you are not following God's teachings. You are not following his rules, his laws of helping other people. We are to be servants, not greedy. Somebody has less than you, you are supposed to help. If more people did that, we wouldn't have the homeless problem we have. We wouldn't have the problems we have. But instead, everybody's gotten so fucking greedy with money. You have all forgotten what God asks of us. He asks us one thing. Be of service to others. Especially the ones less fortunate than you. So if you're not somebody that's out doing that, then you are not following God. You are not making the man upstairs happy at all. Do you comprehend this? Because there is no way in hell that when Jesus walked this earth, he would have treated a homeless person the way that you are. In all your arrogance and greed. Come on, people. Can we get a fucking heart in this fucking world? Nobody has a heart for any other fucking human being. I shared the video of the accident that I came upon and I witnessed. And do you want to know what I heard from people? This is what I heard from people. This is exactly what I heard from people. Oh my God, that was so kind of you. It's so rare. I'm not mad at them for saying that. They're correct. The problem comes down to, why is it so fucking rare? What is wrong with you? If you have the ability to help another fucking human being, I'm sorry, another one of God's children, why are you not doing it? Because if you're not doing it, but you attend church every Sunday or every Saturday or whatever day you attend church, and, and you do your, your, your job, and you come home, and you live in this great house, but you are not being of service to people who are less fortunate than you, you are not 
following what God wants you to do. So don't go sit up in your houses and think you're superior to these people because you're not. Because the Bible does say the last will be first and the first will be last. I don't know about you, but when the first are last, I don't want to be part of that. I want to be the part that the last is first. And that means that I must be a servant, a servant of God to whoever needs it. We are supposed to be angels walking amongst each other, you dumbasses. Can we just start caring for each other? You vote yes on Prop 312. You are not doing God's work. That's all I'm going to tell you. Because you're supposed to be a servant. And don't get me started on all of our elected officials. Every single one of them. Because elected officials are public servants. How do they get rich? By serving the public. But the public's broke. Come on now. If we can't see the problem here. Don't worry though. Like God says. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. And I'm going to tell you, I want to be the part that the last will be first. I don't want to be the first that is last. That's not where I want to be. And if you have faith in the man upstairs, you're going to live that way too. You are not supposed to just attend church and do your Bible studies and, and, and worship with people that are like-minded. You're supposed to be of service to everybody out here. If you are not doing those things, you are not doing God's work. You are not doing what he is asking of you. You want your way to heaven? You're supposed to be taking care of his children. You are one of his children. All of us are. Would you treat your sibling so poorly? Would you treat your own child so poorly? Would you treat your mother and father so poorly? Then why are we treating people this way? If you vote yes on Prop 312, you're not doing God's work. You're going against what God asks. And as we approach the end of the world, the second coming of Christ, you really want to have to explain that at the pearly gates? Seriously? Come on now. You're supposed to be living, loving unconditionally. Helping those less fortunate than yourself. And I'll tell you, it can be done. I'm living proof of it. Because I have a roof over my head. I have food in my mouth. I have a place to sleep every night comfortably. There are so many people that don't have those bare necessities. But we want to punish them? Why? Because, because it imposes on our greedy little lifestyle. Families used to be large. My mother's side had eight kids. Eight kids. Two adults. Living in what? A, a, a three, four bedroom house? Or three bedroom house. Small, it wasn't very large. My father's side, there were 18 kids. And they lived in a three, four bedroom house. Seriously? Nowadays, we've got one or two kids and we're in these big, gigantic houses filling it up with material possessions. What is going to happen to those material possessions when you die? What's going to happen to them? Honestly, what's going to happen to them? Are you taking them with you? When you're standing in front of Jesus and standing in front of God and he says to you, what have you done for my people? Are you going to say, well, I worked this great job, I made all this money, I had this big, beautiful house, I had these amazing cars, uh, I was doing so well. What does that have to do with taking care of his children? Because that's one of the questions you're going to have to answer if you want to get into heaven. Stop with the greediness. Stop keeping up with the Joneses. If we stopped, you really want to know the honest to God truth is... And I'm going to say it. I don't care who the fuck doesn't like it. You want to know the honest to God truth? Every big corporation that runs everything, 
the Black Rock, Vanguard, State Street, all that other shit that you see out here, either in the media or on the social media or whatever, it doesn't matter where you see it, all this shit that you see, you do understand that we the people have control over them. We outnumber them. What that means is if you stop purchasing shit you don't fucking need, guess what? There's not money going into those businesses. Can you not see that we have power and control? We just have to be able to come together and utilize it. But we are so bombarded with commercials and everything else. Oh, you must buy this makeup. Oh, I'm so sorry. If somebody dies at a young age, what do we say? Oh, how sad that their life ended so soon. But yet, the people that make it to 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, you honestly think life isn't going to be exposed on your face, in your hands, on your body? But somehow, we're supposed to cover this up and act like it's a shame? Dude, I love every one of my motherfucking link wrinkles. I love every single one of them. Do you know why? Because they show I live. And my little laugh lines here, oh my God, prove I have laughed a lot. Why would I be ashamed of that? Because some big company throws these commercials on there and says, oh, well, you're not pretty unless you put this on. I'm sorry. I can wear makeup. I do at times if I'm going to a wedding or something like that. But the truth is, I can't stand the way it feels on my face. It literally feels like a damn mask. It literally feels like a damn mask. I can't do it. Just can't do it. But somehow, we have convinced everybody that you need to spend hundreds of dollars on all this face cream and all this other stuff. Because it'll make you look young. Why do you want to be young? When you were young, you were dumb. You were still learning. Wisdom comes with age. Why are we not celebrating that you have made it to the age of wisdom? Oh, maybe because you don't have a lot of wisdom. <laughs> Which means you didn't learn a lot of shit when you were young. <laughs> I just felt I needed to see this. I'm tired of seeing the Prop 312 signs all over the freaking the city. Um, it's just greed. And anybody who supports it or even wrote this prop, what's wrong with you? You're not doing God's work. You're going against what God asks. I just hope, I just hope that it opens the eyes up to some people. To realize that you're not doing God's work. You're doing the opposite of what God asks you. He asks you to give to those less fortunate than you. But be assured, you're giving your 10% every week to your church. Just look at these damn churches. But I don't see all that extra money. You know, we've got to have these big stadium churches. How about we utilize some of that money out into taking care of God's children. This is why I don't attend churches because I don't see churches using that money for God's good. I see them using that money for the congregation where they sit. So then the preachers can sit up on the stage and feel, feel popular, feel like they are royalty. You're not doing God's work. God would not would not appreciate that you are standing at the podium with a thousand people watching you in your stadium church. Meanwhile, there are homeless people that don't know where their next meal is coming from, don't get a good night's sleep, and doesn't know when they're going to shower next. But your church is beautiful. Yay! You've done a great job. You're not doing God's work. That tithe isn't so you can make your church bigger and better. It should be, it should be money that is going to help the less fortunate. Your church is not less fortunate. Just look at your church. It shows that you're not less fortunate. 
So how about you use some of that money and go take care of the less fortunate, as God, the man upstairs, has asked you to do. Because I don't want to see somebody preaching that ain't fucking out here doing what God is asking. Your tithe is not to build stadium churches. It is supposed to be helping God's children. Are you acting like God's children? Not if you're being greedy like that. And I'm sure this will piss a few people off. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that for one reason. Because I will stop and help people out. I could have my last $5. Anytime I get cash and tips, and I don't get a lot of them, but anytime I have cash and tips, that's not my money. That automatically goes to a homeless person. Next time I'm driving from the Chick-fil-A with an order and I've got, I got a $5 tip, guess what? The next homeless person that's standing at the corner asking for money because they're hungry, they're getting that money. I don't use it. It's not mine. Any cash I get, get give, gets given back to the homeless people. And if I take money out, say I take $20 out of my account and I only need 12 of it, that money I, 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 I give out to homeless people. The truth is, it's not about you being better than them. You can live simply. Do you not read the Bible? We're supposed to be living a simple life. We're supposed to be having faith in Him providing for us. Part of Him providing for us is bringing other people to help us when we need it. What are you doing to help? Besides putting asses in the seat in your stadium church. Because you need more money. What are you doing for the homeless? What are you doing for the people that don't have what you have? What are you doing for them? This is why I won't attend a church. I have not found one that isn't about the money and gives back to God's children instead of keeps it for themselves. Just say, look at what a beautiful church we have. Do you honestly think any of that's going to matter when you get to heaven? Nope. Not at all. Worship is supposed to be about loving God. Not sitting in a church on a Saturday or Sunday, handing over 10% of your, your wages so they can build bigger churches, so they can build little fields, so they can put coffee shops in the church. Come on, people! How have we gotten this far away from what God wants us to do? This is the whole problem. Everybody and everything has gotten greedy. Everything. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have a lot of money. I drive a 2000 Daewoo Lenos. 2000, I paid $15.50 for the car. Has 108000 on it now. Had 105000 on it when I first bought it. My RV is a 2004. I don't have a lot. But I don't need a lot. I have a place to sleep. I have food in my mouth. I have clothes on my back. That's all I need. I don't need big special things. And I can tell you, when you decide to start doing the RV lifestyle, there's a lot to get rid of. But once you start living in an RV, you realize how much you don't need. You also realize how much your carbon footprint is really, really affecting everything. Because you can't just run your water and every if you're living off your tank your water tank you only have so many gallons you want to conserve it if you're not living at an rv park where you're hooked up to drain your your gray tank and your black tank you're gonna have to drive someplace to to dispose of it well the more you use your sinks and your showers and your toilet and everything else the quicker you're gonna have to go do this you start to learn how to conserve more. And then once you actually get to go shower in a house again, then you're like, oh my God, I feel like I'm wasting. I 
feel like I'm wasting water. <laughs> Cause that's not how you shower. That's not how I shower in the RV, at least. I, 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 there's a, a off thing on the top that I only turn it on when I need to wet myself down or rinse the, the soap off or whatever. Other than that, the water is not running while I am showering. And let me tell you, it's a lot quicker. <clears throat> you get in and you get out. You don't waste as much. So, sorry I took longer than I expected on this, but vote no on Prop 312 if you have a heart. Because honestly, we're going to punish people for having less than what we have? How awful is that? Anyways. Alright guys. Later. Love ya. Ha, 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 ha.